Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Swill and Grog's A Wonderful World of Beer. Tonight I have a brew from the land of the long white cloud. Death from above, 7.5% alcohol by volume, brewed and canned by the Garage Project in Wellington, New Zealand. Now, uh, this brew is uh, actually described as an Indochine Pale Ale. Now, that's uh, certainly a style uh, I've never tried before. So, uh, I'm uh, most keen to uh, give it a go. I'm uh, imagining it's probably going to be uh, quite the hot bomb. So, uh, anyway, uh, let me get on with this. Um, and, uh, yeah, I must say that... Uh, yeah, the uh, artwork on the uh, can there is, uh, well, this 440ml can is uh, very impressive. Uh, whoever did that, uh, yeah, that's uh, really some great work. Anyway, um, let's crack this open and pour it out into this pint glass. Okay. Get it all out there. Okay. All right, so uh, as far as the appearance goes, well, um, yeah, it's definitely, uh, yeah, uh, on the uh, amber spectrum. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, yeah, very, uh, yeah, coppery, yeah, in color. Uh, somewhat hazy too. But uh, yeah, looking through the light, it um, does appear to be quite effervescent. Uh, yeah, when I poured it, I think I had about two fingers of, uh, you know, eggshell white head. But uh, yeah, I must say it does look good. And uh, the aroma, well, I'm already, uh, yeah, getting a whiff of that. Uh, but uh, let me get my nose really uh, close up to it. All right. Okay, well, I'm smelling uh, a lot of tropical fruits there. Uh, an interesting blend, actually. Um, it's like, almost like orange and mango juice with a bit of citrus. Probably more sort of lime than lemon. All right, so um, the aroma is uh, amazing, folks. Um, yeah, it's a shame we don't have smell vision because uh, you would be impressed. All right, so we've talked about the appearance and uh, we've talked about the aroma, so uh, it can only mean it's time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. So uh, cheers to you all. Let's dive in. All right. Well, as expected, it is, um, yeah, quite the hot bomb. Although, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying, you know, that, um, that fruitiness in there as well, um, which I always do. Uh, like I said, um, well, much like, um, you know, the nose, um, the actual taste, um, you know, it is what you could describe as a very interesting blend of, uh, you know, kind of fruity flavors. Uh, like I said, you know, mango, orange, uh, lime. Yeah, it's uh, it's really interesting. And um, yeah, as for the malt, well, mm, there's a malty sort of presence there, but mm, I must say it's it's quite overpowered by the, um, you know, the uh, the hops there. I think. Uh, they use uh, several hops uh, in this one, actually, according to the can, uh, Centennial, Amarillo, and Citra hops. So, uh, yeah, there you go. All right, but, um, yeah, the flavor is quite intense, uh, but at the same time, quite uh, interesting and, and, and quite pleasant. <laughs> it, um, it finishes nice. It's uh, the sort of intense hop flavor yeah dissipates um yeah after uh you know you're uh, after you have a, a good gulp of it hmm and you're uh, left wanting more so on that note hmm 
Yeah, well, it certainly holds that taste profile and it uh, goes down really smooth as well. Um, I probably wouldn't guess that this is 7.5% uh, ABV either. The um, alcohol presence is uh, quite uh, well hidden in this one. But uh, yeah, be careful folks. I mean, it's not one you could uh, session. Maybe two or three of these and um, yeah, you'd uh, you know need to be done with it. But uh, yeah, um, it's still, you know, very drinkable. Uh, yeah, certainly uh, one worth trying. It's um, definitely got its own you know, distinctive uh, flavor about it. Um, like I said before, the the sort of fruity flavor it has is um, is somewhat unique. So um, I'm really enjoying this uh, first uh, Indochine Pale Ale <laughs> um, from New Zealand of all places. All right, so um, yeah, I guess uh, one negative uh, would be the price point where uh, this brew is concerned. I think I paid like, Eleven dollars uh, for this single, pardon me, uh, can if uh, memory um, memory serves. So uh, God, I can only imagine how much a carton of it would be. So uh, that's a real shame. And uh, apart from the place I found it, uh, I've never seen it uh, anywhere else around these parts. So uh, again, probably not a good thing. But um, anyway, time to wrap this up and give it a score out of ten. Mm. All right, well, it's very tasty, and um, as you'd know, I'm not the biggest fan of pale ales or Indochine pale ales, but um, this has definitely got a nice, um, you know, flavour about it, um, and uh, I'd uh, highly recommend it, uh, you know, if you do stumble upon it, that is. Anyhow, in terms of a score out of 10, I'd be happy to give it a solid 9 out of 10, yes, it's quite an impressive brew. So anyway, um, that's uh, it from me, folks. Thanks for uh, tuning in once again. And uh, until next time, fare thee well, all.